are going to be investigating how safe our students are on social media. And a number of our reporters are going to be bringing you stories on mental health. Our first story is focused on social media and the dangers it can cause for young people. Let's join Katie, Emily and Olivia who have been talking to you your eight pupils about it. My name is Emily. My name is Katie. And my name is Olivia. Today is my stakes comp first report. We are going to talk about social media. We'll be interviewing students asking questions to see if they use it and do they think it's safe. We are now going to take a look at students and their view on social media. For through now, trying to think of questions we can ask the students. Well, my name is Karis. Do you use social media? Yes. What do you use? Snapchat, Instagram and Facebook. Do you think it's safe? No. Why? Because you can get hacked on the, the, your accounts. Hi, I'm Owen. Do you use social media? Yes, I do. Did you know that Instagram is 13 plus? Yes. Do you think social media is safe? No. No. Why? Uh, because everyone's getting hacked and people like friends, they're sharing accounts and people are like taking advantage of people. Okay. We're now going to head upstairs to interview two of the teachers. We're going to see what the teacher's outcome is on social media. We are sat here with the ITT technician, Mr. Drone. We're going to ask you questions about social media. Do you think social media is safe? Um, I think if it's looked after correctly, then yes. Uh, it can be a quite a powerful tool, uh, but I think it, uh, you do need to have some restrictions. Would you let your child use social media? Um, yes, uh, I would. But as long as you, like I said, you have good restrictions on it and you had a good trust, then I think that's fine. We are sat here with Mr. Kyle Evans, who is ICT Network Manager. We are going to ask him how he feels about social media. How do you feel about social media? I like the use of social media for contacting friends and family and sharing memories. And also we like to use it in school for contacting parents. If you had a child, would you let them be on? If so, what age? I would let, if I had a child, I would let them on social media, but I think at the age of 16 and over. We hope you enjoyed our report on social media. We also hope you enjoy our, uh, the report coming up next. Now, now back, back to Ewan in the studio. studio. Sorry, girls. We are now going to explore a sensitive but very important issue that affects people of all ages. We don't often hear about mental health in news, but it has recently come to light that teenagers need more support in dealing with mental health issues, such as anxiety and depression. Our next reporter, Ella, is going to speak to some year 11 pupils and get their perspective on exam stress and anxiety. Hello, Ella, and today I am here to talk about exam stress. Lots of people struggle with exam stress and get scared and don't want to do it, and that can impact on their grades. You may feel like you're going to fail, but, to, but today I have been able to catch up with some 11 students who recently, who recently sat their tests. Girls, can you introduce yourself? So. My name is Courtney and I took computer science, be tech, sport and photography. My name is Hannah and I took history, health and social and business. My name is Chloe, I took textiles, health and social and hairdressing. My name is Lauren, I took theatre and art and health and social. Do you feel under pressure in your current subjects? I feel under pressure on computer science because I'm a clear under it. Do you think there is enough focus on young people's mental health? No, because there's only two county units in the whole of Wales, one in North Wales and one in Jam. What, what do you think there needs to be done to com combat this? I think there should be an improvement in facilities. I think everyone should be treated equal so they're given a fair chance to get their grades. What advice would you have for this? Start revising a lot sooner. Don't leave it too late. Talk to someone about it. Ask for help. Thank you for talk, taking the time to talk to us today. Back to uh, one in the There are many ways we can tackle mental health issues and one of these could be exercise. For our final report, we are going to hear from Alicia, Neve and Shannon, who are going to talk about exercise is important in tackling mental health issues. Hello, my name is Neve. And my name is Shannon. 
Today we are interviewing PE teachers and teachers that coach after school clubs. We will be looking at different types of after school clubs going on in my state and how exercise is important. First of all we will be interviewing Miss Kitchener. And we will be interviewing her about her after school hockey club. What made you interested in hockey? So I started playing hockey when I was about nine. Um, my mum played for the RAF when she was younger and she started me off in the youth team so I started playing with her. Do many people attend the after school club? Not too many people at the moment, um, we've got a dedicated few, but I think that's uh, just because it's not one of the more popular sports in school. What years can join and why? Years 7, 8 and 9 can join. Um, we have a lot of year 7, 8 and 9 teams across Bridgend, so those are the most popular years to play, so that's boys and girls. Do you play hockey outside the school, if so who do you play for? So I play uh, for Bridgend Hockey Club, which is all across Bridgend. People come from Pontypridd, people come from Cardiff to play for us sometimes. Uh, I play for the ladies team, and I'm their centre forward. Do you think exercise is important and why? Definitely important, um, as well as obviously keeping you fit. It's really good for your mental health. Um, it uh, increases your mood, and it gets you into really good habits. It's good social life as well, so it's definitely a good thing. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we'll be interviewing two students from Meister Comprehensive School. We will be interviewing them of their opinion on exercise and why it's important. Today, we'll be interviewing Leona and what she thinks about after school clubs and exercise. Do you think exercise is important and why? Yes, because it keeps you fit and healthy. Do you take part in any sports outside of school? And if so, what are they? Yes, I take part in roller skating. Do you think you should do any more extra after school clubs and why? Well, at the moment I'm doing No Boys Allowed Club, but I think I should join basketball. Do you think you need to do more exercise? I don't think I need to do more exercise. Thank you. Now it's on to Shannon, who will be interviewing Bethan on her opinion. Thank you, Neve. Now, Bethan, do you think exercise is important and why? Yes, I think exercise is important because it keeps you fit and healthy. Do you take part in any sports outside of school? If so, what are they? Yeah, I take part in dance, netball and hockey. Do you think you should do any more extra after school clubs and why? Yeah, I think I should do some more after school clubs. Okay. Do you think you need to exercise more? Um, definitely. Okay. Thank you. It's clear to see that our students are very opinionated about mental health. Before we leave, let's just get a weather update from our reporter Dylan. weather reporter and good morning to my stick. It has been very wet and cold. As soon as I got here there was big puddles and the floor was soaking and it was quite windy. But tonight it's going to be very cold and that is all for me for now from BBC School Report. Well, it's been a very busy day here at my stick comprehensive school. For more reports, visit My State Comprehensive School website and click on the BBC News Report link. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.